there! I'm Lisa the Ukulele Fool. Hey, get out your ukulele. Let's do some sea shanties together. Here's the list of the six that I'm going to feature here in this play along. And I have timestamps down below. So if you don't want to do them all together and want to focus on one, I've got you covered. Just click on the one you want. I have been in love with sea shanties since I was in elementary school. And then as a professional music educator, I shared them with school kids. I think they're perfect on the ukulele. And why the ukulele? Well, as I foolishly believe that the ukulele is magical. Hey, before we get started, I've got a link down below to a little treat for you. I have all of these songs in a sea shanty songbook. And included in that are all the strumming suggestions that I have here, as well as a few other little tips that I'll talk about along the way. So you can have your own print copy of these sea shanties, which I hope you would share with your ukulele group once the pandemic is over, because there's so many possibilities for incorporating these songs in ukulele groups that are really fun. It'll also get you on my email list because I put out a twice monthly newsletter with news and tidbits sharing the ukulele love. All right, further ado, let's start singing and we'll start with the easiest and get harder as we go along. Let's do Drunken Sailor, a classic work song that tells you of the foibles of getting too incapacitated when on shore leave. You only need an A minor and a G, chords that I assume that you are probably somewhat familiar with. I work with your cowboy strum or a bum ditty strum. So it sounds like this. I'll play it on the A minor. Bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty. And I am really only catching those first two strings on the bum. So bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty. So if you feel the beat, bum ditty like that. Here's our starting pitch. It's our open E string. Love, what shall we do? Here we go. One, two, oh, one, two. Ready, begin. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do? Drunken sailor, I lie in the morning. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. I lie in the morning. Sling him in the long book till he's sober. Sling him in the long book. Sing him in the long boat till he's sober in the morning. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Her lie in the morning. Shave his belly with the rusty razor. Shave
what we know about sea shanties is that they are almost always used as a work song and not just, you know, in the workplace, but to time labor. And the Drunken Sailor is a capstan song where you're weighing up the anchor using this big thing that kind of looks like, you know, like a pony wheel, like what you would see in, in fairs and things like that, except for they're using it as a gear to weigh up the anchor. And it's it's perfectly acceptable to do this as a very slow song because it, that was a very hard, slow job. And they would sing it together. And like almost all sea shanties, there's this thing where somebody might start off the verse, so what shall we do with the drunken sailor? And then other people would chime in. And so there's all sorts of verses, like one that's like, a, you know, they, they keel haul the guy, look that one up, and put him in the bilge water. There's, there's all sorts of fun things they do to this guy for showing up to work drunk. Roll the old chariot. You only need these three chords. So the A minor and G like we had in Drunken Sailor, and you had to do probably the first chord you learned on the ukulele, a C chord. If you didn't learn C, you learned C7, right? Okay, this song has its origins in African-American traditions, and it's called a stomp and go song. You'll hear that. Well, you could definitely stomp and go with this song. And they use these types of songs to keep a steady pull on the lines as they were doing various tasks that required a steady pull on the line. Before we get started, let me go over the strumming pattern that I'm using. I'm going to be using a down, 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 down. If you're unfamiliar with chucking, I've got an entire workshop on chucking and I've got a link up here if your device shows cards and I'll link down below in the description. Oh, my dog just settled in. She wants to keep her eye on me while I'm playing. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, ready, go. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of Nelson's blood wouldn't do us any harm and we'll all hang on behind. So we'll roll the old chariot along, we'll roll the old chariot along, we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all hang on behind. A plate of Irish stew wouldn't do us any harm, a plate of Irish about how to add some harmony with this if you're doing it with a ukulele group. A beginning harmony strategy is to be able to teach people to go, so we'll roll, so we'll roll, 
and hang on to that role while the other half of the group or a portion of the group or however you want to do it. So we'll roll the old chariot along. So you're creating a harmony by sustaining that roll out with the other tones, the other part of the melody going below it. So if your group wants to start getting into harmony singing, this has got some tricks for that too. Well, John Kanakanaka is a song that has more connection with the ukulele than any of the others because this is Hawaiian influenced. Yeah, that's the word, influenced. Sailors that are in, were indigenous to Hawaii were prized in the sailing industry because they were so darn good at it, had a lot of experience. And then frequently, just like, you know, I can't say brother is his last name and the Hawaiian last names were unfamiliar to the English and Spanish and Portuguese speaking sailors that they kind of like mumbled through their names. So John Kanakanaka comes from just a nickname for the Hawaiian brothers that were out there sailing along, as well as the tulae, kind of the vocables that come out of Hawaiian music. I have a little bit of a twist in my presentation of this song. Let's talk about it. I added two extra beats to the tulae, oh, tulae. I didn't just do rando. Uh, I, I had a, a madness to, or a method to my madness. Fisherman's Friends, have you ever, have you ever seen that group? That's what they did. They added an extra two beats onto that phrase. Most phrases move in regular patterns of four, but they throw in a five pattern and I kind of liked it. You don't have to, you can just make, so putting it on beats. To lie, oh, to lie. You don't have to do that, but that's what I'm doing in this play along. You don't have to do it with your group though. Let's quickly go over the strum. I'm going to keep the bum ditty strum that we did with Drunken Sailor. So, dum ditty, bum ditty, like that. This song also has a D7 in it, and it is perfectly acceptable because it goes by so quickly to throw in the Hawaiian D7, which only uses two fingers. So going from G to the Hawaiian D7, easy peasy, or well, let's put it this way. It's a lot easier than doing the bar D7, G to bar D7, bar. If you want to do the bar D7, which I may find myself doing just out of habit, go ahead. But if you want to throw in the Hawaiian, no harm, no foul. Let's do two Gs to get us in and then when I do strumming patterns, let's be clear here. Okay. One, two. Oh, one, two, and here we go. I heard, I heard the old man say, John, connect, connect. Push her through, John Kanekanek. 
doing that song with elementary students. And this is a shout out to my patron, Leslie, who said, you got to do John Kanakanaka. And I went, yeah, I got to do John Kanakanaka. I have a great Patreon community. Small amounts gets you lots of live exposure. Small amounts, small dollar amounts gets you exposure to me where we're doing live jams and group lessons and you know even private lessons at a super deal so uh check that out my patreon site i'd love to have you as a patron hey south australia which i have learned so much more about from my patron jock who is a proud south australian we really appreciated you sharing your your pride of place it's been great Three chords. It's all you need, like John Kanakanaka. It's the G, C, and D7, and using the Hawaiian D7 because it's such a quick uh, switch is perfectly fine. But I, my strumming sensibilities are a little bit more complicated on this one. I will go over it with you, but to relieve you of any of that complication, if you just want to zip ahead, you could just do it all down strums. You could do it in South Australia, I was born, heave away. All the way, you could just do it with down strums and no one be the wiser. Here's what the first and third line look like in ups and downs. And I use do, wa, fa, do, wa, do to get that, that first progression down. Do, wa, fa, do, wa, do. And then it's one, two, three, four. With the words, it's in South Australia, I was born, heave away, haul away. You do that on the third line, too, of every... Let's get the strumming pattern in our heads first. I put the beat on my body, because touch is an important way we learn, and say, do, wa, ba, do, wa, do. Do, wa, ba, do, wa, do. That is the main pattern of the song. Do wa ba do wa do. Do wa ba do wa do. Do wa ba is one chord, and do wa do takes up two chords. So it's so it happens on with G. It's do wa ba do wa do. When we do it with G and C, uh, if you do it with G and D seven, then it's do wa ba do wa do like that it may take some practice and then when we have the heave away haul away i just do down strums and then you need a little breather or break to get from one verse to the next so uh two bum ditties so we're bum for south australia on again you don't have to do that that's my sensibilities and there is nothing that says that there is a right way to strum this is just the way I kind of like to do it so do it along with me here we go no matter how you're strumming this come join me I'm gonna do the two patterns of the do up a do a do to get us in with the G and C one two oh one two
night I run her all day Leave her way, haul away I run her until we sail away We're bound for South Australia Haul away, you rolling things Heave away, haul away Haul away, you hear me sing We're bound for South Australia There's just one thing on my mind Nice bit of a heaven in Holland and South Australian pride. Well, I know that if you were in Mexico or even Texas, it's the Rio Grande, but that's not how it comes across in sea shanties. It's Rio. So yes, if you heard it on Assassin's Creed, Rio is how is generally accepted that it's said in the sea shanties. Sometimes they would say grandee to make the rhymes and there are verses galore in this song. You need an E minor in this song. Let's go over an E minor. It's a three finger chord and it kind of stacks. You're coming to from an, the E minor to a C. So, and so get your uh, index finger down on that second thing and then hop these two over. Think of it as like a ladder leaning up against that A string like that. And then you have to go to an F. So again, taking that index finger going up and jumping over to make that F. Let me show you the strumming pattern. This song is in a meter of six eighths. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, like uh, Silent Night and, um, oh, come on. Uh, oh, Leonard Cohen's uh, Hallelujah. So, my, the way I'm going to strum it is I'm going to put a little extra in. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. But you don't want to do that, don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not a problem. Shall we do it? Okay. You know, to keep the chords nice and familiar, I put it in a key that's not very manly for me. So my singing voice is in my light head voice. Yay. Or, yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> two patterns on C to get us in. One, two, three, ready, begin. Oh, say was you ever in Rio Grande? Oh, why, you Rio? It's there that the river brings down golden sand. Oh, we're bound for the Rio Grande. And away.
The Rio Grande is a river that goes through Texas and, and Mexico. And you're like, okay, so what are they singing about a river? Well, rivers made excellent ports. You think of the city of London, which is inland on the Thames River. And historically, it was a really bustling port city because it, the river is a lot less uh, susceptible to the winds and weathers of the ocean. Uh, of course, then that changed then with the bombing of Rotterdam in World War II and deep container ships became popular and the Thames was also getting filled up with silk, which is also what happened to the city of Bruges. So, um, you know, those are, were historical parts that aren't anymore. This song, there's so many verses that talks about being sick and broke and uh, on the Rio Grande. And then there's also songs that talk about the fish of the sea, which was alluded to in the verses that I sang to you. This is really um, a song about the sex workers in, in port. And so um, it, the fish is an allusion there to, uh, they're talking about the, sing you a song, a song of this fish of the sea. They're not talking about fish. Soon may the Wellerman come, which was a viral sensation on TikTok and kind of launched this uh, sea shanty thing. Although I think it was the Friends of the Sea singing on Blow the Man Down that was on Amazon Prime. So if you got that, that was, that was an interesting show. I have a full tutorial. I'll link it up here in a card. If you have, don't have cards on your device, I also have it down below. I talk about the history and all this kind of stuff. This one has an E minor in it as well. And it also has a... B. So I'm sorry if this is too hard for you. I, I hope that you work up for this. And if you need any help with those chords, I've got a section on that B chord in my tutorial. And um, I also go over the strum in more depth, but basically on the verses, it's a down hit, down hit, because it's manly. And then on the chorus, I'm just going to go straight down. So soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum so very simple strumming a little more complex on the chords but this is a great opportunity to challenge yourself with that b chord love this song it's a story song and a and a sea shanty all wrapped into one so one two here we go e minor there once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of that ship was a Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down, oh blow me, bully boys blow. Ha! Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came and up. And caught her all hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she dived down below. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. The line was cut, no whale was free, and the captain's mind was not on greed. But she belonged to the whaleman's creed. She took that ship in tow. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. For forty days or even more, the line went slack and tight once more. All the boats were lost, there were only four, but still that whale did go. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the night's still on, the line's not cut and the whale's not gone. The wellerman makes his regular call to encourage the captain, crew, and all. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll 
take our leave and go. All right, I hope you've had fun doing these sea shanties with me. I know I've, I've been having fun performing them for you and in the camera, please leave me comments. You know, it's kind of lonely just talking to the camera and I do respond to my comments. Like and subscribe, uh, that helps share the ukulele love because it tells YouTube that this is a, a video worthy of watching. All right, let me know about your sea shanty adventures. Let me know if you need tutorials on some of these and let me know if I should do the sea shanties part two. I don't know. All right, catch you next time.